here we are with Gleipnir episode 5. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Who's this? A skull on a tree? Also coins, I guess. And she's sweating. <clears throat> Is he already transformed? He looks weird. <laughs> King Kong? Yep, it's King Kong. <laughs> what are the other things? Okay, I guess it gets interesting now. With more people that can transform or gather us. So this one dude can transform into King Kong and she got maybe also like hand and arms <coughs> um, improvements like the first girl we saw. Hmm. Look similar, right? They're just the arms and I think legs maybe get transformed, right? <coughs> hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the other things were that we saw the shadowy things are those like also other people that are gatherers that are with him or is this part of his transformation power whatever hmm. Do we continue with the fight or do we go to Chuichi? We go to Chuichi. <laughs> And then suddenly, I smell something. Something fishy. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so, because every everyone wants the coins, right? So... Yep. The more information, the better.
just a little bit the alien told us. I mean, not necessary, I would say, right? What if there are some kids that are just playing around and go here? Yeah. She likes it. She likes the excitement. Smelling something? Damn. <laughs> Preparation. But if they see you transform, they might be on guard, or they will be on guard. Yeah, transform. I guess because they have the advantage, right? He seems dangerous because he seems like he has two blades as arms. Could be dangerous. They could slice him pretty easily, maybe. <clears throat> and who knows how fast he is. <laughs> Ready, watch. Oh. He has not this plus on his eye, but on his chest. I guess it's his appearance. I don't like girls, so die. Oh. He's looking for fights. Oh my god. <laughs> of course there's people like that, right? All right. And, okay, I thought maybe his arm get chopped off or something. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, 
I would say pull the gun and then shoot him from the side. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, God damn. But not enough. Use a gun. I guess because he was strong from the get go, right? So he got automatically way stronger. I mean, this is a good approach. <clears throat> Why does he care, right? He just wants to see who is strong. blocked it but doesn't look so good you can't fire again oh <clears throat> So for more, what's that? And he has elf ears. <laughs> he wants to learn monster stuff. Is he doing a Voldo? <laughs> Why is she not shooting right now, right? She had many chances to shoot again. Oh! So he knows that he missed. <clears throat> he has a long face. I wonder how the bullets work. Like, can she... Where does she get more ammunition from, or he more ammunition from, right? <laughs> Wrestling move? Or just pushing?
Hmm? Oh, I thought of it. Not this way, but I thought maybe she grabs the gun somehow and outside and shoots. I didn't thought that she would go outside. <clears throat> Subarashi. And the gun is big. It's more like a cannon. <laughs> yeah, this is confusing, right? Is he feeling tricked now? Question time is over. Oh, is he going for her now? Oh, the impact. Okay. I thought he would snap him in half. He's like the muscle for brains, right? Who's this? M. Damn. <laughs> I think the other monster that took photos is going after her. Contact? Ugh. Ooh! Me and my friends. Oh, yeah. uh. What the fuck, hell nah. Okay, so he has a moral compass. Pretty much. I feel like he won't survive. I think it's not that easy, right?
Was it really that easy? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, that's not true. You hold him down, right? See? That's true. <laughs> Hell yeah. Interesting. God damn. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, very interesting, right? We saw the beginning with the girl and the gorilla dude. So we know two more p person, people, whatever, that are after the coins and that can transform, right? And... Yeah, I mean, we don't know what happened to those two, right? But if we see them again, we already know what they are, right? Um, and yeah, this guy was now very interesting. I mean, he's... <clears throat> I think he's interesting, but I mean, basically, he's just a muscle for brains guy, right? That just wants more strength and wants to fight to encounter people that are strong, right? Um, and I mean, it's nothing really special i would say that he is okay you beat me you can have my life now um i guess that's i would say that's like something relatively normal right the weak give their lives to the stronger one right and they can basically do what they want either kill him or use them however they want um, so I feel like that's also nothing special. I don't know. That, he's basically nothing special, right? But, but I think he's still interesting. Because I would have thought, basically, that he's like, based on his monster appearance alone, that he would be like the vicious guy that wouldn't really talk, that would just keep fighting, 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 until someone dies, right? So it's interesting that he has, like, morals, basically. <clears throat> um... First, he's like, okay, I don't want to fight a girl, right? But then he's like, okay, but I have to make sacrifices if I want to see how strong I am, right? Take every opportunity, basically. And then, because she, Claire was ready to shoot the gun, which, like he, like he imagined, the back, uh, the impact of the gun uh, would probably fuck up. Pretty badly, I guess, um, of this big-ass gun that is so strong. And so, yeah, because of that, he surrendered, basically. So, it's interesting. I, I, I would have maybe thought that he's like, okay, yeah, do it. Whatever, right? So, in that regard, I think it's interesting that he surrendered based on that, right? Because he didn't want her to use the gun. Um, I guess if it was maybe another person, like another guy that holds the gun and was ready to shoot, he maybe wouldn't have chosen that way, right? Um, maybe it's because she's a girl. <clears throat> or maybe it he would have chosen this way even if it was a guy, a boy, whatever, right? Because maybe he doesn't necessarily want to kill. But I mean, he seems very ready to kill, right? So I guess it's based that based on that Claire is a girl, right? Um, and then, yeah, this other monster that, that popped up, I thought, I thought he would not be dead yet, right now. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he gets 
revived somehow. Maybe. Um, because I feel like it's kind of interesting that he let let his guard down so much. He saw that the guy transformed. I think. Do we know his name? I didn't pay attention if we if he said his name. Um. But yeah. Um. He saw that he transformed and did nothing and just let him slice him. Maybe he was just super dumb because he seemed like he wasn't the smartest, right? Um, but yeah, because of how easy it was, I thought like, yeah, that there's more, maybe more to it, right? Maybe he like can reattach or something. Um, I don't know, but seems like it's over now. So that's interesting. And yeah, I didn't thought that this guy would join us now. Um, I thought it was maybe just someone we fight and then it's over, right? Based on the appearance of the monster again, this with the skeleton face like. Um <clears throat> well it's not really skeleton, right? But you know what I mean, I guess. Um but yeah, I thought it was it would be like from the intro and all, I thought it would just be an evil guy we fight and then that's over. But no, he joins us, so that's interesting. I thought it would be like quite a while where we just have Chuichi and Claire going around. But yeah, I mean, now having him on our side, basically, and he is helping us, seems like a big addition to the team, right? Because he is strong, and, I mean, he wants to fight, so win-win, right? They have backup, and he is ready to fight. So that's interesting. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, right? He doesn't know anything about the coins. He didn't really care for the coins. He just wants to see how strong he is, basically. And it's super interesting. Again, like, his moral compass, where he's like, when Claire said that they just want to collect the coins, that no one can do something dangerous with it, right? And he's like, yeah, but who can you prove that you won't do anything dangerous with them, right? So it's interesting that he has this moral compass, <clears throat> while he himself is basically using the coin to get stronger, to endanger others, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, surprised by his moral compass, basically. And yeah, interesting to see what happens next episode, now that we have this new guy, and to see what happens with the other two at the beginning of the episode, right? But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, until next time. Bye-bye.